another video as you guys know it is now 2024 so in today's video we're gonna discuss some things and this is all slowly on my personal opinion okay so if you don't like debates if you don't like people's opinions if you get angry easily then click off this video because this video is not for you this is for the open-minded people that can take people's opinions and let it be that an opinion today i'm going to be putting my opinion on some things that i believe should stay in 2023 let's leave that behind okay i do not want that coming into the new year's please starting off with number one saying the word it's giving in general or after every sentence if you talk like that if you talk like a tiktok person like you have no brain cells i can tell it's giving stupid because why are you saying it's giving in every sentence i never thought it was cute i don't really like the trend but i feel like that's what it was a little trend i don't think you should take the word it's giving into your vocabulary in 2024 because mm -mm, mm -mm, no number two those red boots i know y'all know what i'm talking about i don't know when exactly they came out selling them i don't even know what brand it is i don't even care to know all that all i know is they look hideous they look like some boots from ronald mcdonald's they look like boots for clowns and I don't know why people actually went out and bought them. I don't even remember how much it was, but all I know is it was expensive and whoever bought that, you took a L. You took a L because in 2024, we don't want to see that anymore. Mm -mm. These fashion brands, they're getting bored. They're, they're getting bored. Did y'all see that one? I forgot what brand it was, but basically they were selling something that looked like a towel, a white towel, and people were making jokes. Yeah, yeah. Please don't step out on those red boots. Number three, making TikToks at the gym. Now, let me be a little more clear. It's cool to make TikToks. I know you. If, if that's what you do, if you make videos on YouTube, TikTok, whatever, to show people how to work out, that's cool. Just make sure you're in an environment where you're by yourself. I don't like those videos where those girls are shaming guys who are looking at them. For one, if you go to the gym with your ass out and you're barely wearing any clothes what what do you think men's first nature is they're gonna look so why are y'all making videos and shaming men uh this guy's being a creep he's looking at me this and that really is that what we're doing why are you trying to shame people they're at the gym working out and if they want to admire your fat booty then so be it honestly i would be flattered i would be flattered but you don't need to expose people on the internet that's doing too much because what that's that's not cute and number four i'm probably gonna get a, a lot of hate from this one but honestly i do not care i love sharing my opinion stanley cups why are y'all so obsessed with a cup am i missing something is it like crack to y'all i don't i don't know what am i missing it's literally just a cup with a straw and it's a shitty one at that because i've seen a lot of videos of where people will flip it over and this shit comes out why would you want a cup that's that expensive that can't even perform as a cup come on guys i think in general when i say stanley cups i speak about brands that are so expensive but don't perform and i would say stanley cups is one of those things you can literally get a yeti that can perform better than that why would you i i, I some people get things for the brand name and not for the quality of things and that's how brands get jobs and they price things very expensive and they're low quality if you if we were to find out where the stanley cups are made you would find out that they're they actually cost like five dollars to make and you're paying that much for a cup it's crazy in this economy is crazy number five now me personally i believe that this next thing i'm gonna say fell off the Threads app on Instagram, honestly, it came out of nowhere. I don't even remember when they said they were coming out with it. I don't really care. I don't really follow things like that. But anyways, they came out. I jumped on the bandwagon just like everybody else did to see if it was going to be something. But to me, personally, it flopped. It flopped. It's never going to be like Twitter. It just isn't. People don't even get on that. That app just collects dust on my phone. It does nothing. I get on there every week, I'll say, to see if there's any updates. But it's literally just celebrities retweeting 
pictures of himself and that's it I, I, reposting reach whatever see see i'm thinking about twitter because i can't i can't keep up with all these apps and i don't think anybody else can nor do they care to keep up with the threads app so threads just flopped in my opinion so we should just delete that off our phones and let that be that number six wearing lingerie out in public now if you want to be that girl that's cool be that girl i do not care just don't go on the internet talk about oh my god these men were looking at me like this why does he think i'm this kind of girl please don't be stupid i don't like when women get on the internet trying to act like victims i'm not saying that just because you wear something means you're asking for something I am not saying that it's okay to commit any illegal, wrongful, sexual acts on people based on what you're wearing. I'm just saying if people look at you a certain way, if people don't respect you, it's because of that. You'd be surprised. People care about your friendships. You think people don't care about what you wear? Huh? Make it make sense. It does not. So if you want to go out wearing your lingerie that you should only wear at home with your husband, Wearing that, wearing that out on the street, do not be surprised when you get some looks or people want to do some things to you, okay? I think in 2024, we should have some more self-respect as women because I feel like we've lost a lot of that. I don't care what celebrities are doing. They're celebrities. They've already made it, okay? We're regular people. I don't care. I don't... I, actually, I don't care if it's regular people. So I don't care who's doing it. I don't think it's cute at all. It's not sexy. It's nasty. And I have seen a lot of post of women going out in lingerie and you can literally see their nipples that's crazy i don't want to see your nipples when i go out don't want to see that number seven now this was just me being funny but not really really i'm hoping that i can speak this into existence inflation because what the heck man okay everything is so expensive i went to the store to grab three things at the grocery store and it was 40 dollars. do not ask me what those things were it doesn't matter it's still too much. I don't know what needs to happen, but I am tired of the situation that we're living in. Number eight. Now this just goes for overall life lessons. Posting where you are in the moment you're there, if that makes sense. I could have worded it a little better, but basically let's say I am at the club and I post that I'm at the club when I'm at the club. I suggest you don't do that and a great example of that is that one, I, I believe it was that rapper, I don't know if it was PNB or whatever, but y'all remember at the beginning of last year or sometime last year where that guy went out to eat with his girlfriend and she posted it, I think it was IHOP or Denny's, I don't know, they went out to eat and basically his ops pulled up and that was that. Let that be an example and also just enjoy the moment and have fun. Not only are you being safe posting that you were there after you leave, but also we need to stop being on our phones so much, okay? Just enjoy the moment, okay? Focus on that when you get home and you're in the bed about to go to sleep. Oh yeah, let me post this. Who cares? Just do that then. Do not post something when you're there. It is very dangerous and something can happen, okay? Please be safe. Number nine making videos on TikTok or whatever you make the videos where it's like, come with me to X. So, for example, what I mean by this is, you can make those videos as cool, but I mean specific type videos. For example, whenever they're like, come with me to break up with my cheating boyfriend. Come with me to confront my lying friend. I honestly, personally think that's embarrassing because why are you telling the whole internet that your boyfriend's cheating on you? Do you think you're the first female that's getting cheated on? No. And... Unless there's a lesson to be learned from that, then I suggest not even posting. I wouldn't even post it even if there's a lesson to be learned because, like I said, women get cheated on, okay? This, you're not special. It's not special. I know it's it hurts to hear it, but that's just how men are, sadly. So, you posting a video about it, getting ready to go break up with him, you look dumb, for one. And then you're going to cry, too. Posting a video of you crying, that's, that's a no-no. That's... That's just a no, 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 I don't know. The internet is forever, guys. Please remember that the internet is forever. Number 10, and I don't want to hear any, I don't, honestly, I don't want to, I don't want to debate this. I don't want to debate this. I don't want to talk about it. It is what it is. It's just my opinion. Getting BBLs. Now, I feel like it's a bunch of airheads 
that want to get BBLs. Like if you want to get a BBL, cool, but please do your research before getting a BBL. And I haven't even done the full research because I don't want to, I don't care to. If I want to get a booty, I'm going to go to the gym and do it. Men, believe it or not, y'all might not believe me. Men like natural bodies, no matter what that looks like. They like natural bodies. They like a BBL girl just to smash, not to marry, okay? Not to marry. And you take a risk of getting a BBL. The recovery time is a long time and the recovery looks disgusting. That's, it just, I feel it, it just goes against nature, against what your body should be doing. It just, it's not safe. You can die from that. After I turned 18 and I had my first surgery after that, and they had to put me down for anesthesia. I was, I was actually scared. I was scared. It was, I don't know. I don't know. It was just something that I was just scared. I didn't want to die. But that's just something that you're not aware of until you're older. I don't know. Maybe I was just ignorant when I was younger. So now I'm like, okay. They say they want to put me down. For what? Why do they need to put me down? Is there anything that we can do for them not to put me down? Because I don't, I don't, I don't know if I'll wake up. Like. Anything can happen, guys, and you risking your life for a BBL is crazy. Really think about that. It's crazy. So, I'm not shaming you if you want to do that. Okay, cool. But just at least try to go to the gym and get that naturally. That's all I can say at the end of the day. Because it's your money, it's your body, it's not my body. I don't care, but that's my take on that. Number 11 booking birthday photo shoots and getting completely naked or being in your underwear again i don't know what what are we doing as society as a whole but if we compare birthday shoots from 1980 to birthday shoots from last year it would be crazy because why are you on the internet naked for free for free at that posting it I know you have a beautiful body. Yes, you're sexy. You look great. It's your birthday. Happy birthday. But why is that the idea that you have that it's your birthday, so I'm going to go do a naked photo shoot? You could have done that free photo shoot in the bathroom in, in your house for free. You, you're spending two, $300 for a naked photo shoot? No clothes or lingerie in your bra? Do you guys have parents? And then your stupid friends are commenting, oh my god, you look so beautiful, I love your body. Yeah, but did they tell you what they think of you after that? Because I don't think it's sexy at all. And that's not me trying to shame you. That's because that's what people try to translate to. Oh, you're jealous. Oh, you don't like her body. I never said that. You can have a great body, a sexy, beautiful body and do a birthday shoot in a beautiful dress. Why do you have to be naked? I don't I should not go on Instagram and see your butt crack have some self-respect and if you're gonna do that at least make people pay for it make some money off of it number 12 the tipping community has gone bonkers this past year I don't know what's going on I understand inflation is a thing and we're all unsatisfied I want to get paid more for my job shoot okay but Asking me to tip you at the Starbucks drive-thru is crazy. Coffee at Starbucks is already $6. That's a coffee I like to get, $6. So you asking me to tip you on top of the $6 at the drive-thru, make it make sense. Make it make sense. I'm not tipping. And then the thing is, some people will be there and they'll watch you. And it's just, it's an awkward moment because I don't want to tip, but you're making me feel uncomfortable. And I'm still not going to tip. But some people, I know some people don't like that anxiety or that feeling where people are just watching you so you just tip in the moment because it's just an uncomfortable situation. I get that. But we shouldn't even be in those situations because why are you asking me to tip for the bare minimum? And then when you don't tip them, they give you that look like, oh, you broke. You broke. Mm. I'm not broke. I'm not broke. How about you find an employer that pays more? I don't know. Go on strike. I don't know what to tell you. Number 13. Now, I don't know if everyone has seen this go around, but the best way I can explain it is the backward, the backwards keyboard nails. So there's people on the internet that are getting their nails done backwards. So instead of getting your nails done a regular like this, they're getting the nails done backward and the nail is like this because they work as a receptionist or whatever whatever and they need to type on the keyboard and i will agree it is hard to type with these nails on a keyboard but 
Does that justify you doing something crazy and going against the nail, the natural nail shape? This is how their nails are looking. They're like that and they're typing. It just, it just, it's just crazy. Like, if I go to work like that at a receptionist job, my manager might think I'm doing drugs. I, I don't, I don't know. They may think I'm crazy because that's crazy. It's crazy and it looks kind of looks nasty it just it, it just it just goes against everything it just looks weird and i honestly think that's a waste of money <laughs> but to each his own i guess my solution to that is just get short nails guys short nails are still cute i don't know why people are so against short nails get short nails okay number 14 the spider web lashes i understand we all have different lash length taste that's cool but the fact that you have your fake lashes so long to the point where they touch your forehead is insane. Can you even see? Blink five times if you need help. And the thing about those long lashes is people feel me on that, but they're scared to tell their friends that have those lashes like that. They're scared to tell them, hey, your lashes are too long because either you have an attitude problem or you just don't know how to take a friend trying to help you because... Let me just tell you this, back in high school, I used to do some crazy makeup. And now that I'm older, I look back on those pictures and I wish somebody would have told me something. So I'm here to tell you, please, try to do more natural lashes, okay? You don't need those crazy spiderweb lashes. Adding to that is getting those lashes underneath to the fake lashes that go underneath. That, it would have to be really short length for that to look cute because mm -mm, it does not look good either does not look good either so i'm just here to tell you because i don't i don't know if your friends will number 15 this only goes for people 18 or older because i understand when you're young you want to do this and it's cute or whatever i understand that you're a kid like i said 18 or older posting a bunch of lip singing videos to a song we are not teenagers anymore i don't know who told you that was cute we don't care to see that honestly if i see that i'm skipping to the next story i don't care could have kept that in your vault. Why are you posting that? Why, why are you posting that? That's embarrassing. You're grown. You're an adult now. Please, act like it. Number 16, obsessing over celebrity gossip. I'm tired of hearing about Krishan, Blue, Shakira, Haley, Selena. Those people don't care about you. Those people have made it. Those people are rich they have money you do not have the money that they have why do you care why are you obsessed with them they're not obsessed with you they don't even know you exist stop obsessing over celebrity gossip to the point where y'all are out there doing research stalking how about y'all put that energy into a goal or something that's gonna make your life better and maybe put you in the same shoes that they're in how about that do you ever think about that please stop Stop obsessing over these celebrities because y'all are the ones that are keeping them relevant and to the point where y'all are making people that should have never become famous, famous. Catch Me Outside Girl, she should have never been famous, but she's famous and it is what it is. There's a lot of untalented people that are famous now and it is what it is. Y'all made them famous. Y'all want to bash them, this and that, there. y'all made them famous though, okay? So... Can we just tone it down and focus on our lives? Just focus on your life, okay? That's that's it. Number 17. Those videos that don't ever want to get to the point and they get to the end and they're like, oh, like for part two. And then the part two doesn't come until four or five days later because all of a sudden they just disappeared after the video blew up. Get to the damn point in the first video. Why does it take you that long and why do you want to prolong it for a part two video? Some of these videos don't even call for a part two. You could have just set the story in a one part video. Why do I need two, two parts? Why? Why? Number 18. This to me is common sense, but common sense is not so common anymore. Posting how much money you have in your bank account. Now, I've seen this to where people want to prove to other people that they have money. Why are you trying to prove to people 
on the internet that you have money. These people don't know you. These people could be trying to set you up and you just fell into their trap and you just prove to them, oh yeah, they do have this much money. Okay, thanks. They confirmed this. Now let's rob them. It's not hard to find your address online, y'all. It's really not. It's actually very scarily, very easy to find your address, okay? So don't for don't think for a second that you're safe, okay? Because you're not. I'm not safe right now. Nobody's safe. You never know what could go down. So, why would you make things worse by posting how much money you have? Especially if it's a lot of money, of course. If it's a lot of money, why would you post it? Why? Do not post it, okay? Do not post it. Number 19. This is for men. When you go get a haircut at the barbershop, why do some men feel it's okay to walk around in the street, Target, wherever, in public, with that white line, the white cast that they get after the haircut? We get that you have a haircut, okay? We get it. It's cute, whatever. But that is so ugly and that is such a turn off. I don't want to see your ashy forehead with the little um, lineup. That's not cute. That's not cute. I don't want to see that. That's so ugly. And then people make it worse and then they go post some pictures like that too. I don't want to see that. That is so ugly. I don't know who told you it was cute, but it's not cute. It won't get you any ladies. It might even make them run, but you might attract the wrong kind of girl, okay? That's all I'm saying. If you want the right kind of girl, she does not like the little white ashy forehead, okay? After a haircut. Stop it. Number 20. Posting a bunch of quotes back to back on your Instagram story like anybody cares to stop and read that. Okay, just because you're feeling inspirational, whatever you're feeling, do you think people care? Nobody's gonna stop and read those quotes, especially if they're long ones at that. Nobody cares. Stop posting the quotes. However you feel about the quotes, just double tap, like it, and go on about your day. Nobody cares to see those quotes. Sadly. So sorry. Number 21. Y'all know Instagram came out with having people on your close friends on Instagram? Well, here's what men have been doing. To me, at least. They'll add me to their private story when I didn't even ask for them to add me to the private story. And I can already tell it's me and a bunch of other females. And they keep trying to post thirst traps or how they want a girlfriend or this and that third. Why are you doing that? You look desperate. I'm not interested in you. And honestly, after you adding me to this private story, first of all, without telling me. And now you're trying to thirst trap, posting pictures of your your print if y'all know what i'm talking about your your print i don't i don't do you think i'm dumb do you think it's just i'm the only one seeing that i i i'm so turned off i i'm not gonna ever talk to you ever that's that's so desperate that's desperate stop number 22 caring so much about what tiktok people have to say for example i don't even know who was the initial person to say something about this? But whoever came out and said something about brown cabinets being cheap or being ugly or whatever it is that person said. I don't even know who started this trend, who even said this. I don't care to know. But for whatever reason, y'all felt so offended by the people or the person that said this that y'all were literally making response TikToks and saying, oh, now my mom is... Uh, remodeling the kitchen and she's getting rid of the brown cabinets because she doesn't want people to think she's cheap or she doesn't want people to, to, on TikTok to judge her. Why do y'all care about what people on TikTok are saying? TikTok people are airheads. They, they, they lack a brain cell, to be honest. And I'm not trying to shade people because TikTok can be beneficial, but I feel like 80% of the people that are on TikTok are there for the wrong reasons for entertainment for stupid things i'm on tiktok to learn about plants i follow my plant lady i, I go i'm on tiktok for couponing y'all are on tiktok listening to whoever started this trend rumor whatever about brown cabinets is it that serious that y'all are really going out and redoing your whole kitchen for somebody on tiktok that y'all don't even know and let me say this brown cabinets don't have to be ugly there's some cute brown cabinets. So, what are y'all what are y'all saying? And even if they are ugly, honestly, I'm grateful to even have cabinets to put stuff in. 
there's some people that don't even have a house how about how about y'all think about that before y'all go on the internet and say something how about that just think about that there's people that are homeless number 24 no more posting how you feel about a person or whatever it is the situation you're feeling no more posting that on your instagram story anywhere no more posting sad songs whatever because nobody cares how about you just go confront whoever it is that hurt you and tell them how you feel we don't want to hear drake at 3 a.m okay with the specific it's the specific lyrics that y'all post that we know something must have happened we don't care it's it's between you and whoever hurt you okay number 23 because i skipped it wearing ugg house slippers outside just the house slippers i'm not talking about the boots i'm talking about the house slippers now let me show y'all because i have i have some of my own hold on these why are y'all going out in these honestly ugg house slippers they're comfortable but they're not even cute i'm not gonna lie i don't i don't wear them because i think they're cute i wear them because they're gonna last me a long time why are y'all going out with ugg house shoes Number 25, and this was requested for me to add by my friend. No more waiting until your oil runs out to change the oil. Just get your oil changed before the miles pass. And yeah, you guys, that concludes some of the things that need to be left in 2023. If you want to add to the list, please do so. Don't be scared. This is a safe environment, guys. I'm not going to judge. I'm very open-minded. Even if I don't agree with your opinion, I'm not going to be disrespectful to you nor should you be disrespectful to me make sure to give this video a like comment share subscribe and most of all if you're a tia your abuela tell your auntie tell everybody and i'll see you guys next time bye